Welcome back to the Bob Doyle Media Channel, where we discuss the creative uses of AI. I'm one of your hosts, Jenny Thompson. And I'm Thomas Jennington. And today we've got a really special treat for you. That's right. You know, when it comes to AI video, one of the most sought after features is good quality lip sync, not just for one character, but for more. Right. So you can actually have a dialogue like, like we're, we're doing right, right now. now. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. And our sponsor today, Design, who we've talked about several times on the channel before, has just released their newly enhanced multiple character lip sync feature. It's super easy to use. It's very flexible. You've seen an example of it. And let me show you how it works. If you are not familiar with design and you are an AI creator, you should definitely check it out. It has an amazing suite of AI related tools. You've got your chat editing, which is big now, face swap, storyboarding, all kinds of fun stuff. Today, we're looking at the lip sync and to use it, all we need to do is click lip sync. This will bring us to a canvas where we can either choose an image or a video with faces in it and then apply lip sync to it. For the opening, I started with an image, which I can just drag right here. And your image is presented with little blocks around all the faces it detects and you select which faces you want to animate in your particular project. So we're going to use both of them here. And now you've got a really simple timeline here where you can just create a dialogue between the two of them in real time. You've got two ways you can do it. You can do text to speech or you can drop an audio file in there. For text to speech, for example, in our opening, it's chosen speaker A, which is the woman and speaker B, which is the man. So if I want her to start the show like I did before, I just would pick a voice that I like. Let's choose hope and say hello and welcome to the Bob Doyle Media Channel. And then I can choose how fast or slow I want the speech to be. I find it a little bit more natural if I lower it somewhat what tends to naturally go pretty fast, generate audio. Good this will allow you to preview Doyle the generated voice. And if you don't like it, you can try it again. Hello, and welcome to the Bob Doyle Media Channel. All right, if I like that, I click apply. And now I choose how he's going to answer. So I just click on pick a voice. In this case, I'll go down to Mark and say where we discuss the creative uses of AI. Generate to listen. Where we discuss the creative uses of AI. And click on apply. Now I can move that generated clip anywhere I want. So I'm able to actually create natural pauses and pacing manually, which is great control to have. As I move this over, the video actually expands to accommodate that. So now I want her to respond. So I just hover my mouse over the timeline and you'll see the add icon appear and you just click it. And now it's already chosen the voice that you chose before for that person. So you don't have to choose that again. And now you just choose what you want her to say. I'm Jenny Thompson. Generate. I'm Jenny Thompson. Adjust it if you want to. And then I can click on his track and add another track for him. And I'm Thomas Jennington. And I'm Thomas Jennington. Click on apply. And now we've got it. We can preview the pacing of the audio by clicking play here. Hello and welcome to the Bob Doyle Media Channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. So I'd actually tighten that up a little bit. Hello, and welcome to the Bob Doyle Media Channel. Where we discuss the creative uses of AI. I'm Jenny Thompson. And I'm Thomas Jennington. And for the opening, I just continued the dialogue all the way till I was done, and then you click on Generate, and a few minutes later, you've got your video. Welcome back to the Bob Doyle Media Channel. Where we discuss the creative uses of AI. I'm one of your hosts, Jenny Thompson. And I'm Thomas Jennington. As I said, you have the option to start with an image like we just did or a video, which I'm going to show you right now. Click on upload a face video. I'm going to show you two examples, one that doesn't work well and one that works much better. And I'll tell you why it didn't work well. The example I'm going to show you first is from a video, which I actually created from this still image of the man and the woman sitting in a recording booth. I then use the image to video process to add some subtle movement where they're not talking, just sort of looking around a little bit. And then I want to apply the lip sync on top of this. So I would click on upload a face video. Load it in, and just like with the images, you choose the faces you want to affect. And you can probably already see that these faces are a little small. That comes into play here shortly. You'd click on Next, and then you just go through the exact same process you did with the still image, adding the script along the way, and creating a timeline. Now, let me show you the result I got when I did that, starting from this video. Hey, did you hear they're going to close this place down? Yeah, I did. But honestly, I think it's just a rumor. Now, I'm going to stop it right there because you're already saying, hey, there's hardly any lip movement there. And I did suspect that these faces were a little small to be doing this with in the first place. But when I went through the same process with the still image, check out this result. Daryl, did you see that Eric got that truck? How could I not? It takes up two parking spaces. Yeah, how did he ever get clearance for that? I mean, don't they have to pay for those spaces? He's paying for two. Are you serious right now? Geez, must be nice. Yeah, that's what I told him. You said that to his face? Yeah, why? Didn't you hear about Roger? Just that he's in the hospital with some kind of injuries. I didn't get the details. Um, you might want to get the details. Why? Let's just say that Eric doesn't like unsolicited opinions. Oh. 
So much better with the lip movement for sure. And you also had all this other natural movement. It wasn't just the head moving along and the rest of their body was staying rigid. It looked like two people talking. The facial expressions went along with what they were saying, especially when he said he paid for two of them. The look on his face was extremely natural. I mean, don't they have to pay for those spaces? He's paying for two. Are you serious? He's paying for two. Pretty impressive. I wanted to give lip sync from a video another chance because I kind of assumed I really wasn't being fair with these tiny little faces. A multi-character is not just limited to two. Here I'm going to apply lip sync to three faces. This is the video I chose. It's just three babies sitting there. They're not moving their mouths very much. They're just kind of looking around, but you'll notice that the faces are much, much bigger. When we bring it in, it is the same as always. We just choose the faces that we want to animate, click on next, and each face will be given its own place on the timeline. So here I wanted three-way interaction, so we just do the same thing. Thing. We choose our voices, we give them something to say. Hi, I'm baby number one. Hi, I'm baby number one. And then go on to the next one. I'm baby number two. I'm baby number two. And baby number three. I'm baby number three. And put it on the timeline the way you want to and then click generate and you're going to end up with something a little like this. Hi, I'm baby number one and my name is Phil. I'm baby number two and my, wait, what? Your name is Phil? Yeah, so what? Phil the baby? That's crazy. That's a grown man's name. Well, who are you? I'm baby number three and my name is Ruby. Ruby? Isn't that an old lady name? In addition to text-to-speech, you can also drag and drop audio to guide the lip sync. Let's go over to lip sync and let's use a face image and we'll just drag this image here. We'll select the two faces we want, both of them, and click next. Now for this to work in a dialogue, we need to have separate tracks for each person. So we've got the man's track and then we've got the woman's track. Let's just make sure we're we know what we're doing. We're going to pick the woman's voice. We're going to click on upload audio and I'm just going to drag her part into this area here and it will put it on the timeline. And you can see her part is right here. And then I'll pick a voice and upload audio. I will grab the other vocal track and you'll see now that it has got it spaced out. So when we play this... Target's moving. Three minutes out. Copy that. Ugh, so now we've got the dialogue going back and forth, and each of these individual audio tracks will guide the lip sync, and then we end up with this. Target's moving. Three minutes out. Copy that. Ugh, breakfast burrito's hitting me hard. Seriously? Right now? Sorry, Sarge. Gas mask won't help this one. Keep it together. We've got company. Roger. Silent but deadly? The mission, not my gut. Focus up. Two tangos. On it. Stomachs locked and loaded. Not only did it animate the faces and have them looking at each other, they had the car bumping along a road. I didn't even anticipate that. And also, really solid lip sync work. I've turned the volume down here, but look at the naturalness. There's no weird anything going on. The eyebrows raise when they're supposed to. The eyes look around exactly as they're supposed to. Everything looks completely natural. It's, it's very impressive. So see, I told you it was simple. It's drag and drop pictures, video. You got all kinds of flexibility, and now you can really flesh out fun dialogue scenes with all of your characters. Of course, in addition to just the lip sync design, it gives you the ability to create all of these consistent characters for your productions so we've got a whole little movie studio right here on this one site if these are the types of resources you like to learn about well why not subscribe to this channel because the stuff we talk about all the time if you subscribe now I will not look for you I will not pursue you but if you do not I will look for you I will find you and I will